It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. Well, hello there guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel, Mr. Legacy Bad Boy. You're still Bagman, you don't need a cup of coffee, you need a big cup of Valgrounds. Well, not gonna lie, I'd prefer Valgrounds right now, yes. What's up, Aman? How are you doing? And Heinz is here as well. I guess it's time to give Heinz an Arnie handshake. But can you answer me this? Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> right. Right. Hmm, it's interesting. It seems my cable is starting to give up a bit. And these need to be replaced like every couple of months. And they are so annoying. Okay, let's get back in here. Get some big stars. Top Eric Nelson. How you? Oh, you have no idea. Hey, Heinz, I'm using Heinz ketchup to eat my nuggets. We uncovered that Heinz is like mafia of ketchups. They have like overtaken the world. Like Heinz is basically unopposed in the world of ketchup. In the world of mayonnaise or mustard, no, in the world of mustard, there are still companies putting up a fight. But when it comes strictly speaking to ketchup, then we're, we're in shit because clearly Heinz is running some sort of mafia. We call it Big, Big Heinz Gate 2022. We came to a very scary revelation about Heinz ketchup not long ago. And what's up, Castell? How are you doing? This is probably a very bad matchup. I should have been more careful. But it's fine. Go in. So the daily card in an hour ago, will there be a new one? Yeah, probably. Most likely. Uh, they do them like every single month, so if this one is ending, then new one is definitely around the corner. How are you, Iron Doom? <laughs> I started eating my nuggets with honey mustard by Lynch, not supporting that mafia anymore. Very good. And again, down with Heinz. If I don't make it to the stream, Heinz got you. They eventually get everybody by the looks of it. Still worth Omega Red, rank 4, Sig 200. I think Omega Red is still a good rank up. If you like that champion, if you like that playstyle, I think Omega Red... I think Omega Red's stock has gone up quite significantly with Battlegrounds. Someday I will tell you how my parents picked the name Heinz. I mean, they probably owed money to Heinz and they had no other choice. That would be my story. That they got in deep with ketchup loan sharks. Because they couldn't pay for their ketchup. So they borrowed some ketchup money. And uh, in return, once they couldn't pay back, then, you know, Heinz debt collectors came on knocking. And they basically collected you. I think that sounds well, right? You don't? Uh. Omega to 6200 with no suicides. Uh, you mean Omega Red? No, well, Omega Red, obviously, you know, I do think you need to be running suicides. <laughs> yeah, if you're Heinz 11, what happened to the first 10? Nothing that cool, trust me. I don't. Your name's Heinz. And as we have established, 
need be on your lookout. Why did you forget to tell me, Castell? And what's his latest video? Actually, I didn't even fully watch the, <laughs> the the first video that he uploaded yesterday. Did he upload something else again? Is Condi still bugged? I'm not sure. I am not sure whether Condi is bugged. I don't think so. Done. On him gets to you. And I don't do melee access before he comes out once you open them crystals. Alrighty then. I will appreciate that a great deal. I do hope that Iron Doom is next champion to come out because then he would be same crystal with Quicksilver and stuff. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Castell. I do appreciate that. And hey, what's up, James? How are you doing? What's up, Jay? I'm liking the videos yesterday. Ah. And I, I didn't even watch it in full. I had people send some clips to me and stuff like that. And, you know, what's the best way to put it? Uh, that video was made exactly like releasing of that video has not changed my opinion of Legacy one bit. Thought of him two days ago, what I think of him today. Um, that's about it, you know. Everybody can make whatever videos they want. I do find it, you know, obviously extremely ironic that he's bashing at me for trying to benefit for like clicks or drama or something like that when he's the only YouTuber that has a monetized video on the subject. Uh, and he's the only one who plasters drama on his own clips, but you know, whatever. Let him do whatever he wants. I'm, I'm not too bothered, honestly. Nor I have some sort of, you know, massive grudge now or something like that. He did exactly what I thought somebody like Lags would do, and it's fine. So, yeah, and he commented my video and stuff like that, but, you know. I have no interest in kind of, like, beefing with people. Like, here's the thing. People don't quite uh, understand that, you know, you might like somebody or you might be, you know, on relatively friendly terms with somebody and not like something that they did. I don't think that, you know, one thing or one instance or one, you know, decision or situation determines who you are and what how that re entire relationship is going to be. You know what I mean? Same thing with Mike. I have nothing against Mike. Uh, like, genuinely, you know, as far as I can see, cool guy, I have no interest with beefing with him. At the same time, I do absolutely disagree with that situation, and I don't think it's, you know, cool. And it's kind of the same thing with what Lags did, you know. I have no interest in being, like, BFF with Legacy or anything like that, never had. Nor I have an interest with beefing with him. Does some things that, you know, I like, and obviously... That I don't, but again, of a single thing, it's it's it's. I think it's very childish when you just kind of, I don't know, flip the table and kind of like I don't know, just let like one thing define an entire kind of relationship or attitude towards somebody. Another excited for Iron Doom, I want him this thing. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm still super excited for it. Uh, I, I really think he looked very cool. And I like Dr. Doom's character. What's up, Goat Gaming? Again, special ones visually bugged if you finish... Yeah. That has been in game for years now. That visual bug has been around for like three years now. Renera called KT, she wants her dragons back. The one you borrowed. Which one I borrowed? I have no dragons. I don't know what you're talking about. Who should I give generic gem? Ghost or Hyperion? I'd give it to Ghost. Personally. I mean, Hyperion is well worth giving a gem to as well. 
How do I can hype worth rank three? I wouldn't. How do I can hype has about the same kind of damage as a rank five five star, and the rank five five star objectively has more utility and stuff because it gains so much more power. Thanks for your thoughts. No worries. Somehow some misconstrued shit so easily, and you weren't talking shit. Yeah, you know. People kind of project themselves and see things that they want to see rather than they are there. Like, you can't believe how deep some people have, like, broken down, like, whatever, you know, they saw in that video or something like that. And, yeah, I love some Black Widow Deadly Origins gameplay as a Rafa. Absolutely. DM me. I do have a few other videos to upload first, so there's no rush, but ideally, if you can send me those clips over every zone. Um... Yeah, I'd love some of that. I'd appreciate it a lot. How many BFFs do you have uh, in real life outside? Uh, how, how many? I don't know, not many. I'm going to tell you that much. I don't have, like, crap ton of friends. I used to, like, three years ago or so, when I used to go out and party and, you know, do much more stuff. Uh, last kind of, like, two years, I have been living much more calmly and peacefully. Obviously, I do have some friends that we made up with and stuff but yeah uh oh crap this was bad um uh, i have been living much more kind of i don't know grown up -y. it was kind of like a mixture of pandemic of us buying the house and then spending you know significant portions of the time trying to fix up the house so yeah uh so i haven't been like hanging out as much with my friends or parking and stuff Mephisto is into paddling. I mean, he has to be. He's like the lord of the hell, right? You can only imagine how many paddlings he had to dish out to rise to the position that he occupies now. Nobody starts at the top. He had to be very good at paddling. Uh, you seen episode 2? Yes, I did see episode 2. Watched it yesterday. A full ring round to see how many points I could get. Could have the 16 rounds because I hated this. Uh, yeah, arena can be very tough on people. Rank 4 call. I actually, I think I have some Rank 4 Colossus gameplay to upload already. But if you have some good clips, sure, why not? This is a badass there. God, I assume. Her hard time. She was quite badass, yeah. Uh, I agree. I still think that uh, Damon is like by far the best character in the entire thing every time he's on screen the show get, is more interesting than anything else you know what i mean it's kind of like you, you watch the series and like there's you know politics and nothing much happening and then Damon appears and then you're kind of like a bit more on the edge of your seat you're like "Ooh, something's gonna go down or something's gonna happen or there's gonna be something you know it's at, at least to me it's like exactly like that Oh, come on. You, you didn't have to do me like that. Exactly. Whenever you see Damon on the screen, it's like, oh, some shit's about to go down. Something's going to be interesting. Okay, come on. Ooh. I want to see this one. Here's the thing, I want them to convert to armor breaks. Oh wait, they didn't. Oh right, I prevented corruption, never mind. I should have let myself get inverted controlled. Would be more fun. <clears throat> How about Mojo or Medusa when they grow? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I'd love to see that gameplay. I ha I think I have had Mojo clips, but I don't ha haven't had Medusa clips. Conference sound is important. There's equality. I do agree with that. And I do have some friends like that. For instance, I have my best friend from childhood that I don't see often. I see him, you know, every few years or something like that. And there was a period where I hadn't seen him for like five years or something like that. But whenever we meet up, it's just kind of like the time stood still. We get along as well as ever. 
and we do tons of you know stupid things together and it's always fun and it didn't feel like you know we missed a day or something like that and and i do have like a handful of friends like that and those are the ones you know that uh i'll, I'll never no, never take for granted and always appreciate it and you know we we have also <clears throat> like a very cool friendship in a way but none of us are very bothered about what's the best way to put it neither one of us are the best of stuff like keeping in touch when we're in different countries or stuff like that but whenever you know we get the opportunity to hang out it's always just an amazing time i'm okay with my name as is thanks lkm so see i i don't intend to change the channel name at the moment Best friend from childhood because millionaires are my name. See, he's talking to me. I mean, there are people like that as well, but you know, what can you do? I wish Daenerys is still around. Not after last season, I don't. Would I recommend using Mystic Awakening German Ranger? Well, I did, so you know, I guess I have to. But yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Only way to purchase. Uh, carb cores. The best, the absolute best way how to get carb cores is wait for their offers, whether for units or money. Because then they are usually about half the price or one third of the price. Uh, and those offers come, you know, a couple times a year. So the best way is to wait. Second best way is to have summoner sigil and then you have like 10 percent discount on them which is 500 units instead of 550 and you can buy like one a week or something like that i think um i think one second let me check in black iso market i'm quite sure there is a carb core there is yeah carb core for 500 units instead of 550 so that's kind of like the second way how you can slowly, you know, you grind out 500 units, get that one, grind out 500 units, get that one again. And, uh, you know, you're still saving yourself uh, 50 units every time you do. And the third way is uh, still this year for the last time ever gifting event because you can, uh, you know, have them gifted to you well to exchange units you know somebody wants greater gifting crystals uh let's say five of them so that's 1500 units and you can ask them to send you three hard carb cores and that will still you know get you that milestones or whatever normally i don't know if there's going to be like milestone stuff or things like that but you know this is the last year when in gifting event you will be able to gift consumables and carb cores are in that as well. But objectively, the best thing is to wait for these offers a couple times a year. But good morning, green stream today. I'm going to lie. The cat story is made by day. Ah, yeah, we we might try. We're calling the wets today because here's the thing: the first of September, we're taking the big cat. Uh, so that's like you know Thursday in two days. We're calling the wets today to see. Uh, whether they have time to take one of the little ones because we do have you know a couple of stray cats that kind of like chill around here as well and we want to get them done because you know we want we want to kind of take care of them a little bit not necessarily like try and make them into indoor cats or something like that but at the same time we don't want to be overrun with litters and packs of cats so anyways, so we're getting them done and uh, we might have to try and capture one or two of them today. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ding Dong's defense is up and nuts. Yeah, they're having a good defense. I thought you could give cards. This could... Yeah, you can give. That's exactly what I said. This, this one time you can give cards. Death underscore zero underscore zero four dollars and ninety nine cents. What's up, my man? 
Just wanted to send some positivity down your way. Hope you're having a great stream thus far. Thumbs up. You know, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of this or anything. First of all, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's very kind of you. Second of all, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of this or anything like that, yeah? But it's kind of funny, at least to me. As soon as I noticed your name, it's like, oh, great. Death is wishing some positivity to me. It's like, man, that sounds fantastic. You know, it's like not terrifying at all. Like, I know I'm deaf, but hey, why don't you try being a little bit more positive about this and that? It's like, um, okay. We don't speak the same dinner as well. There's once a member of KD Farm. There was once a member of KD Farm by that name, that's true. Yeah, okay, yeah. What's up, Slinger? What's up, everybody else? Time out to Sassy Conflictor. I was using wrong strategies 3% or 14. Okay, HP, bro. Literally 4 kids off. Okay, yeah. Oh, you poor bastard. Yeah, they have lots of rank 4s on defense. You know, they're purely folks in line, so what do you expect? Don't think we have two versions of a character both in meta. Maybe Doom's gonna be the first one. We we'll can quickly take a look. Uh, I don't think so either. Yeah, there's not. Closest thing to that, we kind of... Well, yeah. Doesn't really. I mean, closest thing to that, I guess, we have is like... Hulks, I think. The Overseer and Immortal Hulk. But yeah, they're not really at the top of the meta anyways. So it could be. Use your mastery setup and I'm halfway done. Need five stonies and on 10 carbos to get it done completely. Well, patience. Grind and patience. Even Death wants you to be positive. You must be a very negative guy. I suppose so. Seems like it. Uh, chances of him having a, a stagger? I don't think he will have stagger. I really don't think so. If anything, I think there might be a better chance of him having neutralized, but I don't think there's going to be a stagger. But who knows, we'll see. I'm definitely curious, though. <clears throat> better to have positivity from that than negativity, I suppose so. When does EOP restart? Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Is it this Wednesday? Yeah, it's this Wednesday. Oh, cool. Tomorrow. Means you're gonna have a good stream tomorrow. Very nice. God, I'm turning into Boris. <laughs> Very nice. Although I only care about Nullify if it gives MD power. No, I still like how Nullify built is. Thanks for staying through, brother. Positivity means craft is not honest. Thanks, Hendrix. Appreciate that. Close thing would be Silas into or always in our health. Yeah. I mean, there is technically Cable and Strife. You know, clones. Something like that. Or something similar to that. Excellent job in your follow-up video yesterday. Well done. Thanks, Slinger. I don't know why don't you like neutralize James. What are the best counters to Hulkling? Uh, Tigra, Mojo, Wiccan, Grintra. So, don't increase the cut of soon. Yeah, uh, I completely agree. I will not be grinding any new 6 feature champions until they do something to arena it's simple as that 
like 300 million cut or something like that. It's just bullshit. Then rank 3 and awaken kingpin with hood with recoil mastery take ranger boss. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. I. I. Possibly. I think I bomb has a better chance though. Definitely with defiance. I think I bomb is. Yeah, has a better chance. I opened Black Eyes, so 6 I featured I pulled the Max Signal, that was already my 6 behind my fourth Max Sig from her. I'm done until next feature. Yeah, I'm done too. Uh, I also kind of craved in, I opened the 6 star from the Black ISO store and I got like a Modoc to like, what, Sig 140 now or something? So I'm definitely done. Unpopular opinion, I believe Kabam Cancel Gifting is really good for the game. It's not unpopular, most of the people are happy with gifting being cancelled but uh i don't think you're kind of understanding the full implication kabam is still gonna make their money and still there's still gonna be that wailing away it's just not gonna be done via gifting it's gonna be done with cab like crystals instead so strictly speaking what kabam is doing right now is objectively worse for free to play community because you can't do your alt content because everything else from gifting is likely to remain Neutralize to me actually is kind of superior stagger, not inferior, because new because stagger nullifies the buff after it has been activated, and that already you know for many champions or many nodes is enough. Like for instance, when you had unstoppable armor, you could stagger the armor up, but since it did activate in the first place, it didn't matter. Champions still went unstoppable. If neutralize prevents from buffs from activating from triggering. It's kind of like lowering the ability accuracy specifically for buff related abilities. Uh, and I think that's better in most cases. Yeah, it doesn't interact with MD, but it, it, it also doesn't allow any node triggers and stuff. So yeah, I do think that's probably better. Discord simply unhealthy for the game for the person putting them up. I completely agree. The 225 million for null and that was my limit. I never want to do that again. Uh, yeah, I, I well that was like a longer time back when I grind for Hercules. That was like an insane grind and I put up like 180 some million. And that was like with much smaller accounts still. You know, I think I could like if the cutoffs would be something like even 200 million like that's a shit done. Like, I don't know, man. It's just too much. No matter how much I try, it's so hard for me to get used to Quicksilver or enjoy him. 565 version. I am kind of getting used to him slightly. It, it does take quite a bit. Okay, great hairs. <laughs> Why are you so petrified from returning to your pain? But yeah, EOP is back on Wednesday. Really hope stop reading bots, what do you think? I think this will reduce them. I think this is gonna get and stop them. I think there are will be still people who use arena bots on if they don't get banned frequently, you know, on their own main accounts and stuff like that. But this will reduce it's those arena bots that were used purely to farm units for gifting one. Also. Yeah, uh, I can't well I mean, yeah, I'm I'm done with this feature. That's it. My prestige is 1583, pulled quicks all the other day and take him drunk. That will pump my prestige 15910. The max, is it worth or kind of prestige good enough? Uh, depends on the alliance, you know. My personal view of prestige is just get it up and get it done. And uh, then you can do whatever you want. And especially because the more time passes in the game, the easier it is to rank 4. Like at the moment, for instance, or even half a year back, would you have cared about like a single rank 3 that you did or did not rank? Not really. You know, it's not the biggest deal. And the more time passes, you know, the more rank 4s enter into the game, the less you care about each individual rank 4. And it's not like, you know, Quicksilver or Valkyrie or something like that are bad champions. Even... Even Silver Surfer, I think, is like very good champion. So at the moment, like... I think virtually every single champion 
top five prestige are actually very very good champions they might not be exactly what you want right now but i still think you know they're good as you've done already don't know if those new laws after stagger of rintra will be turned into rage or not they will be turned into rage but because of the neutralize you will not get your overpowers i think Celebrating my 30. <laughs> I'm still there, man. I'm still there. I have opened more than that. And I have no Scorpion. I completely feel you, Hendrix. 100%. I have, I, I, that's it. I'm done. You know what I'm going to do? I know that S Scorpion is entering... <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Scorpion's entering basic crystal pool in like a week. It's on 6th of September or so. So I have my Attendio Pain Nexus, I have like a regular Nexus, I have a few of the science calves from the $5 dailies. Uh, Shut up and take so I'm going to try and get him Hendrix G $19 in like regular Nexus cents. or whatever else. Or I'm just going to wait for the basic arena. Scorpion less features. Or yeah, or I'm just going to wait for the basic arena, which is going to be at end of October. So like a month and a bit. And that's it. I'm done. I'm starting to save for the, I'm saving for the next feature crystal now. Is this crystal completely kind of wrecked me? So yeah, I get it. I understand that. And you know, I, I'm the same. And I also popped a bunch of Scorp calves as well. Way more than I should have. And I still didn't get him. So, you know, quite, quite pissed off at Scorpion at this point. There's a very good chance that I'm going to grind for Scorpion or pull Scorpion and not rank him up just because he has been such a twat in getting to my account. <laughs> I'm going to be doling out that Scorpion punishment. <laughs> yeah, uh, what does number one score? I don't know. But yeah, uh, 98 was 309 million. I mean, fair enough, you like Staggermon, you like Staggermon. Oh, I get Paracon that first week of EOP. I hope I'm add the objective for me during the week, or can I shoot? But I don't think they will. Maybe. I think you're going to get the full set of objectives the next week, but I don't think they will like specifically add it to you the first week. Maybe they do, I don't know. But I wouldn't count on it. My brother has spun around 35, can't do his Omega. Yeah, I think so everybody has like that one champion you can get from that thing. Don't have the time for EOP, still need to start Abyss. Karin's. Well, EOP doesn't take much time. 30 feature with no Omega Sentinel, can't waste any more shot going for her. Have every other champion that crystal, same. And yeah, I'm exactly, I'm just gonna be kind of saving for the next one because that one is gonna be huge for prestige. I want to see what's going to happen with the uh, inf infamous Iron Man prestige and stuff. And Titanus prestige. Who's more effective at tackling Act 6 exploration? I bomb or Gilly 2099? I think I bomb. Thanks for Act 6 and Act 7 guide. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate that. I do need to upload a couple more guides. I know that those guides aren't getting like many views or any views, but I still want them to be out there. Um, but yeah. I, I uploaded. 612, 613, so I need to go with 614 and 615 guides. And then I'm gonna have, will have caught up kind of, and then I need to do 616 streams. Fail this, you mother ducker. Oh, she actually did. Failed my burst damage. <clears throat> Love the feature, you opened two, and with it, I got awakened. Rinder, well, congratulations, Shelly. Rinder is amazing. I think EOP has better rewards for effort than Karina's. Yeah, it does. It really does. One Hulkling, I'm sure you can get him eventually. I was going for the next board that jugs like. That jugs used to be annoying. I don't think it's annoying anymore. 
I don't think there's anything wrong with that Jax. If you had to do that Jax the way he was originally, because that Jax has been nerfed like twice, I think, already or something. That Jax used to be annoying. Right now, it's just another Jax, basically. My grind her. But the thought of 130 plus million basic grind is so awful. Yeah, it is quite awful. Well, the 2022 Nexus selector is only going to come in 2023, though. So it will be a long wait for that one. So I recommend grinding. I know it's going to be awful. But I recommend just, you know, biting the bullet, using units, using the champion arena boost things and get it done. Titania, She-Hulk, Sarge, Enemy. Yeah, so I hear, but I don't know. I'm not that fast about her. I just want the infamous Iron Man. But we'll see how he does. I mean, th that's the point. I do think there is a good chance that Infamous Iron Man might be a high prestige champ. So EOP is done. I'm looking for your Act 7 guides. Well, then get it done. And the Doom fix his face in the new version. I think it's... Uh, like, I don't know the, exactly the entire storyline, but it had something to do after the secret wars or something like where doom basically became mega op for a bit he probably fixed it then and then iron man randomly died and he figured that the world needs iron man or something uh, i'm not like super well versed on that entire story but i think it pro probably has something to do with that how much you should prepare for cyber weekend well, I'd say the 18,000 units is the minimum, but last year Cyber Weekend had like a store where you could spend up to 24, 28,000 units, something like that. But I'd say if you have 18 un 18,000 units, you're probably fine. Come on then. When I'm good for 631 Medusa, no. Not in particular, anyways. Yeah, no, he's not a good. Because Medusa there has like buffet nodes and stuff, so it's not something you would mess with too much. I mean, possibly you can get it done, but again. With that, uh, I don't know, to be honest. Maybe it's doable. I don't think it's the best. You will load guide when they need them. Yeah, I know, exactly. I know that those guides are like very low viewed videos, but you know, they're kind of like slow burner type things. They're like, like, <laughs> you know, they're absolutely unprofitable to make for the channel. There's like no monetary benefit. But I want them to be out there because, uh, you know, I think they are legitimately helpful videos. Come on then. Let's clap you in. Five degens. There you go. You know why people on Twitter think it's fair game to block someone you disagree with? I mean, it's Twitter. Like, here's the thing. Again, like, to be fair, you can block whoever you want. As far as that goes, I'm not fast. I mean, like, typically, you know, you'd think that you'd want to reason or whatever, but... It... It, it goes against what I personally think, but, you know... Twitter is Twitter activism and Twitter environment is for special breed of invertebrates, and uh, that that's you know all I can say. It's, it's always ironic how those people who you know they're gonna say, "Be happy, be kind, be tolerant" in one tweet, and the next tweet. You know, as soon as there is something of a, you know, discussion or 
controversy they are the most unkind intolerant and kind of like rush to judgment type of people so you know again uh i think it's also worth choosing which fights you fight and which fights you dedicate your time and attention to and uh you know all these like twitter mob type of people you know i personally just have zero interest to waste my time dealing with people like that that's about it so you know don't really you mean biting the baguette eye yeah render is great i instantly rank two him i have a rank four ranger now so yeah render is definitely great I was hoping into a minus part of the next feature crystal. I guess that's too much to ask for. Well, the thing is, it could be. The infamous Iron Man thing is still up in the air because the first champion released next year, sorry, the first champion released next month is going to be a part of the next feature crystal. Does that make sense so far? Uh... But yeah, that, that's about it. Oh crap, really? You were passively stunned. How did you evade? <clears throat> Anyways. Have a pint on me for those great guys? Well, thank you very much, Peter. I appreciate that. Where was I? What was my train of thought? What was the last thing that I was saying? Shut up and take my money! God, I'm getting old. Peter oh, Bardos, five Simon. pounds. Yeah. Uh, whichever... Have a pint on me for those great guides you doing. Whichever champion comes first next month is in the upcoming feature. Second champion of that month is not. Top Goomba 2. I'm sure you're going to get something good. That I'm sure you're going to pull most of the things that you're looking for. Hopefully all. 14 rank 4, how it me. He's going to smash Act 8. Uh, I'm not sure. Again... When I choose my rank force at the moment, I take alliance for defense in very high, you know, regard. Rewards read Richards use the Beyonder's power to heal Doom's face. There you go. Heinz, with his ma insider mafia knowledge, Archangel is the easy op easiest option for 631 Medusa. Yeah, Archangel is a very, very, very good option for that. No champs for it? I'm sure you have some champs for it, Shelly. I'm 100% sure that you have. Many more champions than you think can do that fight. And yeah, EO Thane is also absolutely correct. Any champion that applies bleed on heavies can do that fight. Squirrel Girl can do that fight, absolutely correct. Higher prestige champion usually gets released second in the month, so Infamous Iron Man might be the second. Yeah, he's. I, I think he's probably going to be the second, but who knows. And should I use my rank up Cosmic Gem on Hulkling? Oh, sorry. I would use it on Hulkling, because, you know, by the time you get Herc, you're probably going to be able to rank up Herc as well. I, I, I dislike the idea of kind of like holding on to catalysts and stuff like that in hopes of pulling something very specific. Uh, I always advocate on, you know, making the best of what you have. And, you know, Hulkling is an amazing champion. Go for it. Like, think of it this way. You know, next attempt your pain finishes, you probably, by that point, are gonna have... Uh, Shut up and take my money! Another Death rank underscore up ready. Zero underscore zero four dollars and ninety nine cents. Well, from what I've seen, first champ in trailer that they show moves for is the first released in month. Gore and Gallon were first and first released. It could be true. It could be true. So, you know, it is unfortunately likely that Titania is going to be the first one. I suppose it kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah. How good is Claire Voyant? Claire, uh, you mean for the Medusa fight? No, she's not. I mean, because it's only the bleed damage and the bleed damage she does is tiny. I mean, perhaps she can do it, but it's going to take ages, I think. I never tried it with Claire Voyant. It's worth a shot, though. Especially if you have, like, despair a bit, so you can completely disregard Buffet, because you're going to have a crap ton of... Uh, 
I'm gonna have a crap ton of debuffs on her all the time. And Kingpin take Tedx boss in tier two? Think so. Shut I think you should be able to. Hind is coming in with the lower as well. Buy your cat to toy after you get him snipped. Ah, I actually have done that already. There are toys waiting for them. But thank you, guys. But yeah, I did that. I did that already. I bought one pack of toys. And then I also bought uh, like a set toy that has like a swirly thing that they can chase. It has like a ball that they can toss around in the middle. And it also has a laser pointer that kind of runs around that they can chase. But yes, I already did that. Aha. Features always feel weird to me that they take so long to mount. Yeah, I don't like how long they take to change at all. Oh, no questions. Hey, what's up, Zigas? And wish you a great stream. Well, thank you very much. And yeah, if you guys could hit that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, thank you very much to Death. And thank you, Peter. All of you guys are awesome. Especially Heinz as well. With that ketchup mafia money. Appreciate you. Every time that 1111 pops up on the screen. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I think you have ranked long shot quite high in spread sheet. I don't think you... I can remember you praising him. Why is he so high? Uh, I think that might have been a little bit... Of, maybe a slight overranking. But I do think he's an absolutely amazing champion in battlegrounds and i have seen longshot being used more and more in challenge modes in abyss uh he was you know quite important for the karina challengers abyss runs because he was one of those uh he's extremely good for battlegrounds he is getting used here and there in lines where he's ex the one thing about longshot is he's extremely underestimated defender uh like he brutalized me on limber node when that limber whatever meta was happening oh crap i'm gonna be screwed here and yeah he he's quite a beast for specific things i still don't like him as a champion as creepy hands like a whole like three digit thing that he has going on you know fuck that but uh you know what can you do Prince charming with weird hands. You can make this mafia money. You now an accessory to subscribe. I disagree to that. That is plausible deniability. The, no, Longshot does not need high sig at all. It doesn't even really need to be due. Longshot is built for the shocker. Oh, this is nasty. Stop that. All right, all right, all right. Oh, shit. Don't worry, kids don't understand that. I mean, still nasty, though. But yeah, hit that like button pretty please. I'd appreciate that greatly. Oh, sucks being off work and coming back to all this shit. What are you coming back to, Emma? What's happening? What are you doing, Emma? Longshot can be sneaky? Yeah, Longshot can be very sneaky. Longshot has... I'm going to tell you flat out, Longshot has KO'd and beaten me in Balagrans, I think, more times than Dr. Doom has. More times than Korg has, for sure. More times than most of the popular defenders. Longshot is just a twat, especially if there's Limber. Uh. Now you notice Longshot's hands? Well, take a look at them. Yeah, Disgusting!
Would you prefer him or Diablo for Viscarine Challengers? Ideally bring both, I think. <clears throat> Long twat now. Yes, there you go. Oh, you do him every day, Neku. Ah, feel for you. There are some champions that I need to do like twice every day. In Alliance Quest as well, that kind of annoy me. But yeah, I need to fight Super Skull every day in AQ, so I'm kind of better at fighting Super Skulls now. Uh, but I need to do Hulkbuster twice, almost always. I need to do Venom Pull twice, which you know isn't the biggest deal. Shut up and take my money! Death underscore zero underscore zero four dollars and ninety nine cents. Hit TK button lurkers, least you all can do in appreciation for Katie's awesome content and amazing attempt to read all chats. Well, Greatly appreciated <laughs> BTW, thumbs up. Well, thank you very much, Beth. And yeah, I do try. I, I, I make no claim that I read all the chats and all the messages, but I do try to read as many as possible. I will say that flat out. Always try to read as many of them. Oh, come on, no! You tw and of course that forty percent stand chance or whatever it is, is just an immediate uh, stupid fake Superman. Mobile and press back on. It's fine. We know. You talk about long chance answer minds. Second, feet talk. Don't even start that. Don't even bring that up. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? Because if you don't... Oh, fuck off! Just want to stop in and say what's up. I'm about to watch one of your videos and head off to bed. Have a good night. Well, have a good night to you too, Robin. I mean, like... uh. Yeah, for me, it's not night. For me, it's morning. It's like 9 a.m., but uh, you definitely have a good one, man. And thanks for popping by. I appreciate that. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. I started watching Hitmonkey series. We only got into like half an episode, and then something came up and never got back to it. Uh, so, yeah. Cable, oh, cable twice every day it could be annoying, though. Yep, long shot can sometimes be easy, but sometimes he's just a monster. And do I still Spidey every day? Wait, uh. That's why Hive's better than Hulkling? Why? Tell me why again. But that's fine. How are you watching? Oh, okay. Since on Wiccan, what fights he's good for and what fights he's useless for? Wiccan. I would not ever want to use Wiccan against uh, Incinerate immune opponents. Ideally. Uh, that's kind of like the main thing. Other than that, uh, what he's good for, he's good for like Galen, Hulkling. He's good for, you know, as most Mystics, any champions that have buffs and stuff like that. But he also uh, deals with that stuff in like a very cool different way it's again because he can maintain neutralize for a very long time or basically the entire fight it's kind of like quite useful there and uh, on top of it all also you can use him against uh, electros and teraxes and stuff like that and you can be regenerating basically all the damage you take from those bursts you can use him against iceman if you really want but it's not gonna be the quickest fight uh he definitely has quite a few uses Sometimes he goes into super OP mode and uh, then he just nukes everything. Because <laughs> that neutralized interaction with the incinerate and everything else, it, it can get quite cheesy. He's one of those champions. He would be very, 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 very good Mystic Champion if he wouldn't be as squishy as he is. This is quite annoying how... He has like bottom 10 health pull. I think he has like 6th smallest health pull. 
and negative physical resistance, which effectively makes him the squishiest character in game when you get hit. What hero have the best attack? I believe it's Cable. Put me wrong. The best attack? What do you mean by the best attack? I need to define the highest attack rating? Or what? Didn't even know there was a Hitmonkey series? Yeah. I, I, they are. You can find them on Disney+, Plus, but you can obviously find them by sailing the seas as well. Uh, it's animated show series. Apparently, many people quite liked it. I, again, I haven't seen it all in full yet. I, I probably will watch it at some point though. Haha! -ha. Hey, what's up, Alec Brown? How are When you choose between Diablo and Longshot for Green Challengers, a bit on Path 3 as you recommend for. Uh. <coughs> Uh, path 3 fully. I'm not sure to be honest. Like, I, I would first start with figuring out which fights I would want to use Mystic and I can't because they're poison immune. So how many Medusas are there? That would be like an important thing. Abyss. Map. MCOC. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for season 2 of Invincible as well, and just waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and it's not coming, and... Every time I saw it, see Invincible, like an Amazon Prime thing, I'm uh, like, oh, for fuck's sake, just, you know... Open image in your tab, here you go. So, we're past 3, past 3 is the red one, if you take a look here... Diablo is fine. Diablo is fine. There's Hyperion. Diablo would be fine. It's only the Hyperion fight that you need to worry about. Here's the thing. I, I would probably bring Diablo over Longshot in this one. If you have somebody that can take Hyperion. Uh, on your team. If you don't have somebody that can take Hyperion, I'd bring in Longshot. Hope that makes sense. Should make sense anyway. A raccoon. A rabbit, a duck, and a monkey. What animal do you want next? Hell cow. I mean we kind of do have a cow as well. We we have a bull, right? But I still think, you know, hell cow could be quite interesting. What do you guys think? Or, or, oh no, never mind that, that that's DC. What other animal? Oh, uh, they could do the doggo from Inhumans if they really wanted to. The one that teleports. Hope from Iron Man Super Suicide Friendly. Well, there is quite a decent chance that he will be, as, you know, many tech champions are. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Thank you. No worries, Bologna. Do you think Herc, Apa, Kingpin, Ghost, and Torch, this team, can play any quest? Most of them. They're missing, like, uh... Mystic champions, and sometimes they are absolutely vital. But you'd definitely be able to play most of the quests with that team. Cosmo the dog or Lockjaw. Yeah, there you go. One of those two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can just bring in Diablo then if you have an option for Hyperion. If you have somebody with like slow or something like that. <laughs> Oh, infamous Iron Man, super super. Yeah. Uh, and best heavy attacking game for me is Cable. Amazing reaching. Uh, Cable has a nice heavy attack, yes. Anyone slap me? Mmm. Sure. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Larry, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Larry! Larry, you can't just. Oh, Larry! Oh, are you alright? How did. Larry!
the cable does have a great heavy attack for sure. He can't just. I can't what? what what's wrong? Any other is pretty fighting nullifying buffs. Well, I mean, you can use Diablo to nullify Hype's buffs or whatever. Sure, why not? But Hype's poison immune and like 99% of the damage, or like 90% of the damage Diablo has come from poison. So, you know, Diablo can do that fight. It's just going to be really low. You can't just slap people. Why can't I if he can? Noah! Larry, what the hell is you oh, Larry! Larry, you can't just... Oh, Larry! Oh, are you all right? How did... Larry! See, I'm not doing anything that Kabam isn't doing. No one can stop Giga Chad Larry. Facts right there. You know the new Iron Doom can nullify about? Uh, we do not know that. We'll see though. Really get why Mike slaps weekend and not have him in that cliff. Yeah, I didn't make it. It's the Ankit's cliff. Never really does that, does he? Probably it's it's kind of like would be equivalent to slapping himself. Why is weekend not have him? It was meant to be grounded wisdom and demons fire or whatever his name is. Reed Awakening helps with his power gain and region. Yes, absolutely. I do think it's quite important to have it, like if you want to fully benefit from it. But like I would still rank I still rank three my Rintra, and I'd still use a nano I can rent Rintra, for instance, in Battlegrounds. But I did end up giving uh or enter my Mystic Awakening gem. As I do have a rank for Mumu. Another question, no estimate time for Act 8 release. I suspect Act 8 is going to come out September as well. October the latest, but I'm quite sure it's going to be still September. Based on Kabam Jax's hints and messages. Because he's, well, we're, we're about to get that inside the contest video. Probably by end of this week or maybe on Monday next week or something like that. And in that inside the contest video, they said they're going to have details about Battlegrounds and Act 8 and stuff like that. So they typically include only things that are happening directly next month in those videos. So that pretty much tells me that Act 8 should be coming out next month. Like, Battleground's definitely coming out next month, and Act 8 probably coming out next month. Is where I would kind of place my current understanding. Hope that settles things. We 100% far start. I don't think so. I mean, obviously they could have changed it, but I don't. I, I think they see that four stars not available in Act Six as a failure because it did create big community backlash, and I think they already have found a way around it where they do not explicitly forbid us to bring in five stars, but they reward us for bringing six stars with those extra buff nodes in Act Seven. So I think they're gonna stick to it. But with further increasing health pools and attack values, it's going to be even more noticeable where, you know, 6-star rank 2 is going to be significantly better than a 5-star rank 5 because they're going to have that extra block proficiency based on adrenaline mechanic and extra tankiness and extra attack like we do have right now in Act 7. 
but it's going to be even more visible when opponents are stronger and tougher and act five and five stars are just going to feel like super squishy you will still be able to do a fight or two with five stars which is going to be much 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 harder uh with them and i think that's like the perfect mix there and that's what they did also when we played beta now it's not out of realm of possibility that they forbid five stars in act eight in my opinion but i don't think they will because i don't think there's much point in doing so kind of think you know i think about my understanding that they kind of want you to use five stars in act eight if you do you can dive them more often do my quarters from the feature need to make sense i'll do that's where i'm for awake and awaken well get that gem ready top improvement quality of life once able to switch suicide yeah well mastery presets would be like the most important thing right now most of us consider the minotaur cow absolutely it's a cow one extra fire sky period i'm gonna forget about mole man when i treat him well you do you prop then you do you but yeah rain tray is a cow deal with it by the way a good way i know that you know this is kind of my job but uh huh which discussion i was looking on at yesterday end of gifting they deleted that thread that was talking about end of gifting interesting this is the thread that i showed yesterday in my video like where you know people are talking about end of the gifting event and uh there's no more such thing okay cool that that you know this you know fascist forums will never surprise me you know i i as i assume like here's the thing you know all the bad things you hear about soviet union or about like west germany now where people just randomly disappear for saying or thinking the wrong thing stuff like that that's exactly how i view these forums <laughs> that's exactly like hey comrade have you seen any disgruntled activity yes right there okay let's take care of it you know that's exactly what these forums are it's like it doesn't matter whether you breach rules or not nothing else matters if you just say something that you know they don't like is like time to get in the bag lad like as somebody who grew up watching a lot of movies about like soviet time and stuff like that because i grew up in like post-soviet union country uh in the early 90s just after its collapse and stuff like that you know these forums are like the exact carbon copy there are people who are not you know who just have the job who are not elected the biggest ass lickers raise the highest you know and uh they get you know the higher jobs and whatnot and uh, they unanimously decide what they will or will not allow on a forum or what they you know what kind of speech is going to be allowed or not that's exactly what these forums are it's like pretty fascistic and communistic kind of like apparatchiks is what they are and it's not just that it's also the whole like shadow banning system and whatnot you know where you can post but nobody can see you know they know exactly what they're doing and what they're doing is fucking messed up but you know correct you're lithuanian wrong. i am latvian not lithuanian but close enough i've been to lithuania many many times Wait, what is this? If you have information about one of the following, which one do you choose? Ah. I don't see any channel else. Ah, this is again that one. Okay, anyways, what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, EOP is coming tomorrow. Uh, a good way to kind of keep in track uh, of what's happening on forums is, at the moment, probably Kabam Jax's post, most important. Oh, and it's also no. uh end of gifting master said okay send me a link send you a link to what because if you're viewing this from pc you can just uh or the full version you can just tap on all the posts made by that specific person and then then it's very easy to kind of find news and stuff like that that's happening on forums 
Okay, this is actually something I want to read myself. We have seen criticism stating that this should have been mentioned immediately after the last bit even concluded. Ultimately, until recently, we weren't sure what this year's call day event would look like. With the amount of fraudulent activity, we weren't able to analyze the full impact until months into 2022. I know there are in very internal conversations about ways to provide an adjustment gifting event, but every avenue the game team explored led to more problems. As was stated in the original post, we wanted to give everyone opportunity to make decisions on how they'd spend their time. We did this as soon as we had an idea of how gifting wouldn't appear this year, even with limited information about that new event looks like. Communication came three months prior to the normal communication cadence. Well, that is kind of true, but it still sucks. They really should. In that case, you know, they should have probably, you know, left gifting for this year and announced it that this is going to be the last time around or something like that. How are we supposed to get trophy champs? We haven't seen anything to suggest the race would be the movie of 14. Okay, so they're still going to be in there. Fine, whatever, don't really care. What consumables can we gift? Because he lost one. Okay. Okay, fine. Not you know, remember next time. So I don't worry, Peter. Doing nothing. Okay, the Grandmaster. Summoners once we're away. Okay, so it's Legends Crystal thing. But yeah, you can see, like, you know, because Kabam Jax is typically the one, you know, Kabam Mike's account is worth checking out as well and stuff like that. But you can just go post by post, whatever they post on every topic, and, you know, you can find the goodies. But easily, KD Variant 1, I actually kind of liked Variant 1. I, I like the challenge, you know. I am a bit, like, here's the thing. I am a bit glutton for punishment. I like when content makes me want to throw my phone against the wall and grind my teeth and think this is bullshit or how it can be done and stuff like that and variant one was that variant one was like oh my fucking god how will i get through this and i like stuff like that now the thing is when it wasn't like form of variant i think it was also pretty much perfect because it wasn't a mandatory content there are shit ton of people who still haven't done variant one i disagree with it being like a mandatory story content like you know what i mean because if you're going to put progression levels between doing story content which they always have done you know defeat this chapter and do this boss stuff like that I don't think they need to make like super hard content like Act 6 death. But at the same time, I want more content like Act 6. I want content to feel dangerous. I want every fight to have different sets of nodes. And if I overlook something, I need to quit and restart because I haven't bought a champion that's immune to something, for instance. I want to feel like every single thing in that quest matters and I need to be aware of what they're doing. You know what I mean? I like that type of stuff. I actually had, I actually have completion or exploration series using four star champions only of variant one. And yeah, I did all, I think I did all of variant one using only four star champions. Because that is what most people use. 4 star rank 5 and 5 star rank 4. Some tips on completion 6.2. Sucks. Stuck on 6.2. Well, I do have guides, Manit. If you type in 6.22 KT1, you're going to see what guides are made for it. Fair point, but it's the moment in charge. Exactly that. Do my quarter. We are, yeah, new AOP tomorrow. Send you links, send you link to what, bro? And we're brutal, mostly out, for, out of both them with six star rank threes, and now it makes me think how hard it was five star rank fours. Uh, it, it, it was a different beast, yeah. Off to bed, it's 1 a.m. We're supposed to pass by and stay for an hour and a half. Hope you have a great day. Well, I hope you have a good night, man. And uh, glad to, glad to uh, see you on the stream, man. And yeah, yeah, see you next time. And tomorrow, yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll definitely be streaming as soon as the 10 pure pain starts. So don't you worry about that, lads. Oh man, I hate. Here's the thing that pissed me off. Mangog's heavy attack looks like it should have such a good reach, but it doesn't. It's kind of like he has T-Rex arms. 
despite the looks. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, you bastard. You know, Peter Moore, where's the cast? First one for will be Wong, really good champ. I like Wong, I just don't know what to do with Wong. Or where I would use Wong. Champ Kabam do nothing. Apparently, incursions are getting a rework and a buff. Yeah, incursions are getting touched up. Oh, one second, two star in shards, let us celebration, we're gonna take it. Uh, let's just some crystals. There was a post, one second. Can't, I can't see it right now, but oh yeah, here you go. Here, I found it for you. See? System works. Hey, Summoners, uh, I always like to a little love for incursions in the forum. It's not without its flaws, but overall, I think it's an underrated game mode. The game mode is definitely receiving attention behind the scenes and will receive updates in the coming month. We'll have more information uh, soon. Also, if you combine it with what Kabam John said in the interview with XN, uh, and JX, then every game mode has received its own dedicated person. So there's actually somebody now whose primary task is to look after incursions as of recently. So you can kind of expect some changes to the incursions. So, you know, we'll see what they do with it. Are you prepared your Medusa? Of course, my Medusa is always ready. Hey, what's up, OMG ESP? How are you doing? Look at that. We screwed up, but then we transitioned into a level one and fixed the problem. Oh, and no, we did screw up this one though. <laughs> Pretty sure they all sign taking care of incursions to the new intern? Yeah, probably. I mean, I would. You know, incursions nowhere near as important as the Lions or something. Are you doing well? Yeah, I'm okay. Ready your best stream to a reading grind? Well, thank you very much. And I, I probably will be... I, I'm thinking, what, what was... Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I might be going back into Gauntlet a bit for fun today to slowly start uh, getting Gauntlet to be 100%. So I'm going to do like the first path and the first and the second path. Uh, probably this afternoon. Because I do have a whole bunch of like potions and stuff expiring as well. So why not? Uh, so yeah, I actually might. I mean, it's not 100%. It depends how busy my day is going to be and stuff. But I actually might go and do some... Uh, Gauntlet stuff today. Not just for funsies. Oh yeah, Halfling is very interesting, champ. Completely agree. It's kind of... Yeah, he exactly that. Not necessarily the best champion for every fight, but even though he's quite high damage output and quite good, but he does have very quirky interactions and matchups that I really like. War was a mess today. After winning a fight, Wheel of Doom spun around for 38 minutes and then the map showed I took a loss. Yep, now that sounds typical. That That's how you, that, you know, now you know who your real enemy is. It wasn't whoever you were fighting against. It was the Wheel of Doom and Kabam. Obviously. Woke up and choked the war. Well, we're up against GT40. And they are trying this season, and we are not. So, you know, we're going to take an L here for sure. 
But I already did my Thor fights, and I had like nothing. I, I didn't have many other interesting fights. I only ended up doing like three fights or something. And, uh, you know, I did them fine. Again, as long as I don't use any loyalty, I'm fine, which I didn't. I didn't use a single item, which again, I completely forgot about because I have two three minute boosts expiring. <laughs> that we get from that alliance event thing like i have power stat one and indestructible three boost is firing now i'm like ah shit which girl in hand come out so close to Hulkling? i feel very appreciate Hulkling. i don't think so i think Hulkling is gonna get his due i don't think Hulkling is gonna be our shadow anyway especially since like ball got stuck i think both of the both of them are gonna shine My god, her 24 kills and still... Oh, ah. Where did you place your god? Which node? RMG. Let's go super spell. Round two now and so the rest of the gold for gold problems a eh? and that mini boss node where huh what are you talking about that what are you talking about Pika? But, man, Punisher 2099 is so good. Stop hitting me. Safeguard vigorous assault. Mini was not. Ooh, that could be a good one. That could indeed be quite a good one. Interesting. There you go. They've got none. Okay. Your rank three hood kind of makes sense. I'm going to ask my teammates to maybe test it out there oh look at that hey what's wrong kingpin don't feel so healthy eh Uh, I have been, me and my girlfriend have been watching this very, very cool new Netflix series. Uh, what was it? Cleo? And uh, I know, like, it's kind of cool. It's about a time period I really like in history to watch movies about. It starts in like 1987 in East Germany, which is obviously basically kind of like the Soviet Germany. And... Uh, well, they had the Berlin Wall up and stuff like that, and then it carries on in like early 90s and stuff. And uh, yeah, no, I like those series quite a bit. There are a few bits that I obviously don't necessarily particularly love, but all in all, I think it's a very cool series. I've been enjoying it so far. Yeah, that's the one with female assassin. And uh, yeah, and you know, honestly say that uh, I think it's pretty good. Much better than, you know, most of the stuff that they put up. I, I mean, obviously you might not like it, but I don't know. We're kind of enjoying it both. 
I like, you know, some bits of like really quirky humor in there as well. And then obviously just like how she goes about doing all that stuff is also quite interesting. I mean, it's better than she called. Yeah, 1000% bad. Even though it's not a comedy, it's 1000 times funnier as well. I, I actually laughed during those series multiple times. Resort of Peacock. I have not heard of that one. What is it about? Come on then. Can't shrug Jack, can you? Gonna murder you. She almost shit so far. Yeah, that that's the thing is like it's meant to be a comedy, but it really isn't funny. Like, obviously, all the other things put aside, he, here's how I, you know, effectively judge kind of like this type of series. I, I'm perfectly fine for giving shows and things like that, as long as they're like super entertaining, uh, or, you know, I'm invested in it, or, and then I enjoy or, or find it funny or something like that. Like, if series consistently make me laugh, and there are things in it that I don't necessarily normally would like, I don't particularly care. Or if it has like gripping story. For instance, Arcana. Arcanum was like, you know, very cool story. I didn't care about anything else that might have been happening there. And the thing with She-Hulk is, I can maybe remember like two jokes there that I would consider to be jokes, but none of them are funny. Like, I, I guess what th that Siri would call a joke like in She-Hulk was like, number one, I, the one thing that I remember is that they referenced... Uh, Hannibal Lecter with like fava beans and whatever else not in Chianti or whatever else you know when she went into abomination and stuff like that and you know rest of the things I don't even know if they can be called jokes I mean they certainly aren't funny so yeah and she was just so bad so, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty much done watching it you know what's the first episode Quite tragic. I didn't want to completely, you know, toss the show aside based on the first episode. Maybe it gets better. Uh, was it the second episode? It really didn't. It really didn't. There was like pretty much nothing funny in it. And uh, for a comedy, you know, that's the ultimate flaw. If it's meant to be comedy, it's not. Not funny. Uh, and also, like, the stuff that they're cramming in it always, like, really does piss me off. Like, that call, like, how they make that call, oh, I'm, oh, there's a hot chick over there, I'm gonna go talk to it. I have never in my life, I, and I have been around, you know, all sorts of guys. All of these, you know, party boys that think they're, like, the hot shit and stuff like that. I have never once heard a dude talk like that. Like, oh, I'm gonna go talk to it. Ah, like, what can I say? The show is just garbage. It really is. And it sucks because I always liked She-Hulk as a character. And I still do. I just don't like that show. At all. I mean, yeah, it was slightly less cringy. After the start, after the bar, it was slightly less cringy. The bar bit really did through me. Like, when they start the series, when they start the show with, I'm gonna go talk to it. You know, that's, that, 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 that's it, you know. And, and the rest of the episode, it was like, what, 20 minutes? And, and there was nothing remotely funny. Or a show that's supposed to be a comedy, something. 
you know, I... So anyways, first episode obviously was... Yeah, I, I couldn't help but to cringe so much. Second episode, overall, you know, okay, fine, was less cringy. Start of it was absolutely horrible. And the rest of it was just kind of boring and nothing really, you know. She got fired, she got hired. Okay, cool. But, you know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch the third episode, but I'm quite sure that I'm pretty much done with it. And this will be the first ever Marvel series that I drop. Like, I have, I have never kind of, like, randomly stopped watching any of the series in the middle. Mentioning she hulk in the sideline is like pressing the button pretty much. If I may ask what a cool place part of Riga would you recommend to visit? Well, first of all, my recommendation would be go to the countryside, because the majority of Latvian culture is there. Riga is kind of like, you know, metropolitan city, but pretty much most of the things that make Latvia amazing and Latvian people amazing are outside of Riga. Um, it's in the, you know, beauty of the nature, which you don't get much in Riga. It's, you know, in, in our lakes, rivers, forests, animals, traditions, uh, celebrations, actual, like, local country food and stuff like that. If you are just in Riga, uh, like, one of the more basic and easier things where you can get to, and I recommend people go, I think Tea House was very cool vibe. There's like a tea house neck not far off the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you know, many foreigners typically like to go to Lido because there you can get to test out quite a lot of different Latvian foods. Uh, but yeah, it depends like what you're into because like everything's kind of condensed in Riga and you can kind of get to experience most of the things like uh, Black Hand House is definitely quite a beautiful, impressive place. Uh, in Old Town, and then in Old Town, there's a whole slew of, you know, bars and restaurants and stuff like that. Here's my, here would be my biggest recommendation. Stay away from overly kind of commercialized places. Like, if you want to experience cool Latvian stuff, don't go to a supermarket. Go to a market. Go to, like, a market, because there's, like, huge, huge markets in Riga. Like, central, uh, central markets. There is like four huge hangars and the entire surrounding area. It's like one of it. I think uh, in Riga there's like the biggest indoor market in Europe or in the uh, possibly even in the world. It's like massive, uh, and it also has like lots of you know outdoor trading. You do need to be careful in the market though, because there is you know if you're gonna get pickpocketed and stuff like that, it's gonna happen there. So when you go to the market, be careful where it's like mega crowds there. But other than that, my advice is always, you know, much rather enjoy maybe some distant guest houses that where you have saunas, where you have access to like lakes and stuff like that and some traditional celebrations. All of that is much better than most of what Riga offers. In Riga, you can see Latvian history, cool architecture things like that, but like the truly beautiful things about Latvia, they exist largely outside of Riga. Like the most delicious foods and most beautiful places. Like Sigurd is a beautiful city to visit. Or Ventspils is a beautiful city by the seaside to visit. Or you know, any of our national parks, we have some of the most beautiful and well-kept national parks, uh, you know, in Europe. Because uh, the majority of Latvia is covered basically with forests and greenlands and stuff like that. So there's loads to see. That's kind of like the one thing that always annoys me. Everybody who visits Latvia typically just goes to like Riga and does hardly fuck all everywhere else. But yeah, like, you know, Riga is cool or in terms of, like, history, architecture. It's it's a fairly unique city. But it's not what Latvia should be. People. Oh, I love them. 
just come back for the last episode, they always put in resting time. Yeah, probably. 32 million deep in Misty Arena. Well, best of luck, damn statue. Best of luck to you. Don't tell me what happened to Legends Crystal. You're gonna get them back. Basically, Kabam took them away by mistake. You should have them back, by the way. You watch those Marvel one shots after that. He was saying those short for 10 million. Wh which one shots you mean? I don't even know what you're talking about quite there, but I believe you. I think She Hulk's legitimately like possibly the worst thing Marvel has put out. Out since you know 2000s, it really is trash. <clears throat> yeah, can you imagine if Aldi bought little to be called a deal? <laughs> Would it though? Counting like a tour guide? I don't think so. Like the Baltic trip usually capitals are not really representative of people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, capitals have their charm, obviously. But, you know, it, it would be kind of like going to New York City and thinking that you have seen America. You know, it, it's its own thing. It's completely different thing. Yeah, like, you know, obviously, you know, there's still kind of like the same nation's people but even from that type of thing you know it's massively different how people are behave and what they do in, in large metropolitan cities or just you know from city to city from town to town i mean latvia and Lithuania before they're both awesome well, i'm glad you enjoyed it i mean there are obviously also like the bad things and negatives about the country but here's the one thing that whenever i land in latvia's airports i always do and I cannot still get over how much cleaner the air is in Latvia than it is virtually in any other country that I have been. And it's because, again, majority of Latvia is covered in forests and fields and lakes and rivers. And there is, you know, really, really noticeable difference in the air that you breathe and how fresh it is and how fresh it feels, especially if you happen to line, land in like... A, foggy day after it has rained something like that because then it you know pushes all the dust or whatever down and every time i land like you know as soon as i get out of any kind of like urban center i just like take a big nose full of air and it immediately feels so much better you should try the air in swiss suburbs yeah i believe you there's probably like very similar effect but you know in latvia as well like let me explain. So yeah, over half of Latvia's territory is covered in forests. And, you know, there's also a very significant part that's covered in, like, farm fields and swamps and stuff like that. And, and, and lakes and whatnot. And compared to where I live now, 13%. And it really, you know, UK is 13%. There's, like, four times as, many, as much, like, woodland and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it, and it is a massively noticeable difference. My Latvian people in the UK, they will learn your language and swear and say cheers. <laughs> uh, no, you. I, I can promise you, you did not learn to swear Latvian. That's like one interesting quirk about Latvians and Latvian language. Nobody in Latvia swears in Latvian. Latvian language is extremely unsuited to swearing. Most of the time, if you try to swear in Latvian, you just sound funny. And uh, we don't really have any kind of like really proper stern swear words. And even those, again, as I said, kind of sound funny. 
virtually every single person in my life with maybe exception of couple but yeah virtually every single latvian that i know always swears in russian he used russian for swearing it's like there is a very large amount of people in latvia who do not speak russian at all but all of them are extremely profesh proficient you know all of them know exactly how to swear in russian Yeah. Nobody swears in Latvian. It's, it's borderline impossible to swear in Latvian. No, it's nothing like you have ever breathed. I believe you, Slinger. Yeah, I mean, you see kind of pimp is, but you know, does it sound like threatening or something like that? No. It, it just doesn't have that sting. You know, nobody really swears like that. People use Russian or English words in Latvian, mainly Russian when they swear. It's just, again, it sounds kind of funny. One second, somebody's knocking on the door, so. One second. Sorry, Abu Jat. Right, so where are we the points wise? Because we do have exciting development. My girlfriend has trapped one of the tiny little bastardo kittens. And it turns out that uh, the vets can take them now. So basically kind of need to get there as soon as possible. And they're going to do that. And uh, yeah. Since I was about to finish stream anyways, I think is, this is about as good of a reason as any. I'm about to run the gauntlet, my teams Apocalypse, Aegon, AA and Hercules. Who do you think should be my fifth champion in Professor X or Mags? Uh, yeah, I think Professor X probably is a better option there, if you can use Professor X well. It was Ijinahui, it's Russian, it means, you know, go fuck yourself, but... It, it's Russian, it's not Latvian. Air quality in South Korea is pretty bad, and some of the Gaudi Desert in China picked up, and then, yeah, I, I would imagine so. Pretty sure Corvus is a swear word. Kurva is a swear word, but that's Pol Polish. Uh, not, not, not Latvian. The Prof X, any tips on 441? Don't really remember that one, honestly. It's been many years since I played it. Good luck in getting all your kitties fixed. Danke. What do you use for Storm, Nimrod? I'm an infantry war Hulkbuster. Uh, probably Nimrod because in Storm, if I remember correctly, you you wanted the lead immune. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. A huge thank you to Heinz, Hendrix, Jen, to Death herself, Peter, 
all of you guys are awesome i appreciate every single one of you for supporting the channel i will be back later with videos and streams after you know i i get to the wets and stuff so um yeah i'll catch you later see ya hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so we have all the information about the next month 